Welcome back to A Taste of Cake. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make fried turkey using a turkey leg that has been chopped into pieces known as coden fui or tasso coden. Here is the list of ingredients that I'll be using. I have four turkey drumsticks, which I had the butcher cut into medium sized pieces. I'll clean that with vinegar, salt, as well as two limes. I'll also be using three tablespoons of epis, one pack chicken bouillon powder, one pack sazon, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, ground clove, salt, half of an onion, bell peppers, habanero pepper, one lime, one cup of water as well. To make the sauce, I'll be using one tablespoon tomato paste, the reserve cooking liquid from the turkey drumsticks, one cup of water, bell peppers, as well as half of an onion that has been sliced. Before we get further into this video, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Here is the four turkey legs that have been cut into medium pieces by the butcher. What I'm going to do is remove the skin as well as majority of the tendons. That is a preference of mine. For me, it's a lot easier to eat when most of these white tendons are removed. Here you'll see what I'm talking about. The turkey leg has a lot of these white tendons and I try to remove most of them. I'll go ahead and show one more time while I'm removing the skin and this is the skin that I'm just peeling off. Sometimes it peels off easy, sometimes you need to cut it off with the knife. And after that, I'm going to remove majority of the tendons. After removing the skin as well as the tendons, I'm going to rinse the turkey leg under cold water. I'll drain that water, then I'll clean it with the juice of two limes, vinegar, as well as salt. In majority of Caribbean households, or I should say all Caribbean households, we do clean our meat. We normally clean it with whether it's vinegar, salt, lime, lemon, sour orange. We always clean it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each piece of meat and I'm going to scrub it with the lime and vinegar as well as salt mixture. Once I'm done doing that, I'll allow it to sit for about 10 minutes before rinsing under cold water. After draining and rinsing the meat that has been sitting in a citrus marinade, I'm going to pour hot boiling water over the meat and I'll allow this to sit for five to 10 minutes. After I'll go ahead and drain and then I can move on to marinating the meat. To season the turkey leg, I'm going to add sazon, chicken bouillon powder, epis, the juice of one lime, salt, thyme, ground clove, garlic powder as well as onion powder, sliced bell peppers, half of an onion that I've sliced as well as habanero pepper. I'm going to mix all of this until everything is well combined.
It's best to allow the meat to marinate overnight in the fridge, but if you're pressed on time, you can go ahead and allow it to marinate for about one to two hours before cooking. Like I've stated in previous videos, whenever I'm cooking meat, it's only certain type of meats that I'll add additional oil to the pot because once the meat starts to cook, it'll render its own fat. I have the pot that has been heated on the stove. I'm going to add the turkey legs to the pot. I'll cover it with a lid and allow it to cook for 10 minutes on medium high. After it has been cooking for 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and remove the lid. I'll give it a quick stir. As you can see, it started to produce its own liquid, but it still needs additional liquid to help it cook. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pour one cup of warm water or hot water that has been boiling to the pot. I'll cover it and I'll allow it to cook on medium heat for about 45 minutes. I'll also keep checking on it to make sure that the liquid does not dry out. After cooking on medium heat for 45 minutes, the turkey leg is finally done cooking. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the meat from the pot, reserving the liquid. I'll use this liquid to make the sauce at the end. Now I'm going to deep fry the turkey leg. What I have is a pot. If you don't want to use a pot, you can use a deep fryer. If you don't want to deep fry the turkey leg, you can also place it on a baking sheet um, that's been lined with parchment paper or aluminum foil and put it on a broil setting under the oven or you can even use the air fryer. Remember the turkey meat is done cooking. All I'm doing is frying it to have this nice golden brown color. Now it's time to make the sauce. In a saucepan, I go ahead and place it on the stove. I'll add about two tablespoons of the reserved cooking liquid. I'll add the tomato paste and I'll allow the tomato paste to cook to remove that raw flavor that the tomato paste have. I'll let this cook for about two to five minutes. After the tomato paste has started to cook down, I'll slowly start adding the reserve cooking liquid a little bit at a time allow it to cook down some more then add more until i've completely added all of the cooking liquid into the saucepan I add the sliced bell peppers. I also have about one cup of water that has been boiling in a different pot, which I'm going to add to the saucepan. I also add the habanero pepper that was in the same pot that was cooking the meat to get that extra heat. I allow this to boil on medium heat for about five to 10 minutes before placing the sliced onions. At this point, I'll turn the stove off. The residual heat will help cook the onions. If you made it this far into the video and you have not hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Also hit the bell to turn on the post notifications. Here is the finished product of the fried turkey leg, also known in Haitian Creole as Koden Fui ou Soit Tasso Koden. And I have it on this platter with beans and rice, fried plantain, a side of pickles, as well as the sauce on the side. I wanna take this time out to say thank you for stopping by A Taste of K here on YouTube. If you have already subscribed, I wanna say thank you for the continuous support. If you're a new viewer, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell to turn on the post notifications. I upload videos every Wednesdays at 8 a.m. Eastern time and occasionally on Saturdays. Again, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.